I was not expecting that to be what happened in there. I thought I was going to go in there, look at some shoes, try some shoes on, and leave. But no. My hair is kind of messy. I feel like I need a hat. What's up, YouTube? So, I am looking for something today. Daily vlog. I'm looking for some new running shoes. It's starting to get nice. The weather's starting to get nice around here. I do, like, when the weather gets nice, I do do some, like, outdoor running, jogging, things like that. And typically, I'm running in my checkered vans, which is stupid. Don't freaking do that. And I've done some research here and there, trying to find some shoes. I've actually, because I, I seem to always want um, vans, like van shoes. So I've looked at like their athletic shoes and doing some research and this and that. I haven't seen the best reviews for them. Like a lot of people online and like on YouTube, like shoe review people, they talk about them wearing out pretty quick. They don't last very long. They're not like good for like, uh, just in general, not for good for like daily running. So I said, frick, I'm going to have to find something else. So, um, started doing some more research and I found these shoes called Brooks and anybody watching this, that's a like marathon runner runs uh 5k 10k whatever k you freaking run you're gonna know what brooks shoes are um heard really good reviews about them they are kind of expensive but like i said i use these a lot so i decided screw it let's get some freaking brooks i wanted to try them on first because like vans i've been wearing vans my entire life so like i don't feel like i have to try on vans every time I buy them. I know what size, I know how they feel, I buy them, on to the next. However, when I go to buy a new uh, brand of shoe, I like to try them on, which I don't really buy a lot of new brands of shoes, I'll just go ahead and say that, but I like to try them on, see how they're gonna fit, see how they feel, and Brooks is one of them. I've never had a Brooks shoe. Uh, also, they're vegan, so that's cool. Um, basically, they just don't use real leather or any products from animals so that's also a plus for me and all their shoes are that way so i'm going to go in here and check them out see what i can do i'm at the world's largest running store this is roadrunner sports it is not affiliated with warner brothers at all <laughs> or i think it's i think it's called spectrum now but there used to be internet called roadrunner not affiliated with that either um yeah so we're gonna go in here and look at some crap i think they just opened so I'm that guy that's coming in here right as they open, but uh, let's let's go check this freaking place out. Here it is. Whoops. Here it is. World's largest running store, which I don't think is true. It's not really that big, but I think that's like their slogan maybe. Their sign is super plain, but they should have the crap I need in here, right? That's the plan. And I'm worried that I'm going to have to talk to people, and I don't feel like talking to people right now, but it is what it is. Let's go see what they got. For the record, I've been in here for a little bit. There's a whole, like, running thing you have to do when you come in here, and they give you, like, a little test and everything. So I just got done doing that, and uh, I'll probably get with you guys when I'm done and tell you more about it when I get out of here. But I'm shoeless right now, so that's kind of weird. All right. I was not expecting that to be what happened in there. I thought I was going to go in there, look at some shoes, try some shoes on, and leave. But no, this place, dude, this place, like, scans your feet, which is fine. I'm glad they did that because, like, my feet feel pretty jacked up lately, and it's kind of, like, bugging the crap out of me. So it was a cool little thing to go through that process. Um, let me tell you kind of what they did. So immediately I met with this guy, shoe expert running shoe expert. His name was Jack. Super nice dude. Um, and we took my shoes off down to bare freaking feet. 
He gave me some socks to put on. I ran on the treadmill for about 15 seconds. He analyzed how my feet, how I run, which was interesting to see. Um, then I popped on to this little scale, kind of similar to like the Dr. Scholl ones you would see at like Walmart, but a little bit more uh, in depth, I guess. You put your feet on there, you lift your heel up, it analyzes your feet and all that, tells you kind of what shoe you should try to go for. He asks you like what type of cushion you like on your shoe. I wish I would have recorded it, but like I didn't want to be that guy. I was literally the only person in that store. I did not want to be that guy to like just record the whole freaking thing. So I didn't, but you guys can kind of see it in like a five second clip I took of everything. Then they bring out three different shoes that they recommend. I tried on all three of them. Um, I kind of don't want to say I had my heart set on Brooks, but I definitely have heard a lot of good things about them. And that led me to say, hey, you know, let's try the Brooks. I did not get the Ghost though. I actually got a different, uh, a different shoe. And they also uh like make your own insoles in there like they warm up the insoles and you stand on this little machine and they press down your feet and then you get to wear them and i feel like you might as well get those with the shoes because they're forming them to your feet to fit in these shoes they pull the old insoles out you can use these insoles in any of your shoes um, fingers crossed they fit in my checkered vans i'm still not giving them up but that would be really neat but yeah i mean here's the insoles that come in it they're kind of poop and here's the shoes that I got, and they're all black, and he was talking about, like, people in restaurants wear these, and I just like black shoes, but here they are. Here are the shoes. I'll get a better look at this later on, and then you can see in there, there's the custom insole for the shoe. Um, I wear a size 10. These are the gliss Glycerin. Uh, they were a lot more cushiony, and that's why I went with those. Um, overall, let's talk about the experience. Uh... It took a little bit of time. Looks like it took me about 30 minutes of being in there. Uh, like everybody in there was really nice, really kind. Um, they have a lot of stuff in there. They have some socks. I ended up signing up for the VIP membership because it was $20 and then you basically immediately get $20 cash. Why wouldn't I? Um, and then like once it gets through and you get your percent off, you're gonna have about $35 in store cash. So my plan in my head, I'm thinking, okay, well, that'll give me some extra cash. I can go in there and get some super nice socks, throw them bad boys into my freaking shoes. This is just a video of me talking. Sorry. All right, let's talk about the freaking price here because I know that's what everybody wants to know. So I got the receipt here in front of me. Whew. Okay, here's the price. So this is cool because they did all that stuff for my feet, and I feel like that was really interesting. I would recommend if you're having any sort of heel pain like I am or feet pain in general to come do this it's pretty cool it's a pretty interesting experience maybe I can find like some b-roll on the uh on the uh, interwebs and I'll throw it in somewhere as I'm talking maybe you've already seen it I don't freaking know but size 10 glycerin 21 is what I got the black on black it was regular price $160 I got $16 off with the VIP discount, so I got them for $143. The custom insoles, which again is something you don't have to get, but I have a weird obsession with insoles, and you know I feel like they're always worth the money if you can get the right ones. That worked for you. Those were originally $100. I got $10 off, so they were $90. And I also had to pay for the VIP rewards, which was $20, which really ain't that bad um i think it goes up after a year though so like i don't know if i'll keep it or not we'll see grand total after tax 271 dollars and 48 cents but i got some freaking running shoes now folks so you know remember that video i made with the dji when me and poe were running around that park i go there a lot as the weather gets nice to warm up or just do my cardio in general for uh working out so i think that's kind of gonna be my plan is to wear these i'm gonna wear these probably a lot to be honest with you still want the vans i'm hoping these insoles fit in my vans that'd be cool we're gonna find out but yeah let me uh let me get you guys a better shot of the shoe here and then we'll close this out brooks running shoes here's a freaking box here's what i got there they are 
if it would focus. There we go. Pop him open. And here's the shoe. It's kind of really basic. Basic shoe. Is it zoom? Is it like focusing? I can't tell. Yeah, it's focusing. Basic shoe here. They were super comfortable. It's like walking on a cloud. And I tried a f on a few other shoes. Uh, I think I tried on the Hoka, Hoka, Hoka. I think it's pronounced Hoka. And the, uh, I think they're called Asus. Ace, Ace something, something with an A. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it in the comments. But I end up going with these. Whatever, then freaking shut them. I end up going with the Brooks just because stuff I read online, to be honest with you. Reviews, yada, yada, things like that. I'm uh, excited to get out there and do some running, I guess. I'm getting old, so I got to do some running now, right? <laughs> I keep saying I'm getting old. I'm like 30 years old, and I, I'm i not that old, right? Right? It's all Nathaniel's fault because he's like freaking 20 years old, and he makes me feel like a grandpa every day at work. So, Nathaniel, if you're watching this, it's all your freaking fault that I'm going to start running now. All right? Cool. Well, hopefully you guys enjoy this video of me freaking talking because that's all I did. I just talked. But I got some running shoes. And I probably need to make a thumbnail of me holding the running shoe. So, let's turn face recognition off. Thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, all that bull crap. Till next time.